Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, November 21st. Tesla has reportedly placed a massive order of chips for its next-generation full self-driving computer with Taiwan's TSMC. The order is actually so large that it might make Tesla one of the company's biggest customers. Back in 2016, Tesla started building a team of chip architects to achieve full self-driving in consumer vehicles without additional hardware. In 2019, Tesla finally unveiled the chip as part of its hardware 3.0 self-driving computer. For the first generation of the chip, Tesla had been working with Samsung for production, but now Tesla is reportedly moving forward with TSMC and has placed a very large order for the next generation chip. According to the report, TSMC plans to supply Tesla's production from a factory in Arizona. Not much is known about Tesla's next generation computer, but the automaker said that it is not required to achieve full self-driving, though it would improve the performance. Tesla is teasing the integration of an Apple Music app in its vehicle software. The Peterson Museum, a car museum in LA that currently has an exhibit partnered with Tesla, includes several prototype vehicles, including a Roadster and Cybertruck. Some people spotted that Tesla is actually running software inside those vehicles that include Apple Music as an app. The app appears to be fully functional inside the vehicle, but Tesla's feature is not currently available to all customers, or rather, any customers. Tesla generally plans a big holiday update in late November or December. It includes a lot of new features, and it's very possible we will see it public around that time. Photos and details have emerged from China of Buick's first electric vehicle, the Electra E5. And I gotta say that the name Electra is perfect for an electric vehicle, so I guess Buick got to that plate first. In June of 2022, Buick announced that it would be going all electric by 2030, unveiling a new logo, but not a whole lot else. It just so happens that the brand associated with monstrous chassis is quite popular in China. Even though there's little information on the EV powertrain, the documents show the Buick E5 base model is equipped with an electric powertrain capable of 180 kilowatts or 240 horsepower. Documents released by the China Ministry of Industry and Information Technology show the vehicle along with dimensions. As far as size, it's similar to that of the highly anticipated 2024 Chevy Equinox. Will this vehicle come to the USA? We do have a small hint. Buick has already filed for trademarks for the Electra models 1 through 9 in the U.S., and so we will most likely see a version of the Electra E5 here in the land of civil lawsuits. According to Volkswagen's new global head of passenger cars, an electric pickup truck is not a priority for Volkswagen at the moment. During a small roundtable in the LA Auto Show, Thomas Schaefer explained that Volkswagen has a clear blueprint for the future and they do not include an electric pickup, at least in this decade. Schaefer's crushing comments to dealers and consumers who have been waiting for a VW pickup comes just three months into his tenure as the passenger car CEO. This is likely a reflection of the policy of the entire auto group CEO, who is named Oliver Bloom, who recently axed a high-end EV program in an effort to clean up the auto group. The actual previous CEO of Volkswagen of America, Scott Kyo, and to be clear, we're talking about a third CEO now, he only recently left that position to lead Scout as a Volkswagen marquee poised to become an electric truck brand. I suppose that he won't be terribly busy for the next eight years. Domino's Pizza announced that it will be adding over 800 Chevy Bolt EVs to its fleet, making it the largest electric pizza fleet in the U.S., if you thought it was a stereotype, it isn't. Americans love their pizza. There isn't a whole lot else to the story, but you can follow a link on our website for your chance to win a Chevy Bolt from Domino's Pizza. I'm not sure if it's going to have all the graphics on it, but I would still rock it. A joint electric vehicle venture, Sony Honda Mobility, has announced a significant plan to compete in the growing EV marketplace. Sony has been teasing its Vision S EV concept for a few years as it inches closer to commercial launch. Sony's CFO said that the company would not be making batteries or vehicles, and some believe that the concept was just a hardware showcase for other brands to shop from. In October, Honda revealed its first mass-produced EV, the Prologue, although that one is going to be made in partnership with General Motors. So where does the Sony and Honda joint venture stand? Well, they have announced their first EV that will be released in 2025, so not too much there. 
The senior vice president of Sony's AI robotics business and the COO of the new venture, Izumi Kawanishi, he noted that Tesla is not providing content services, and that's including a PlayStation 5 that would be very technically possible inside a vehicle. Leaders from the newly established joint venture insist that the company's electric vehicles will focus on entertainment. I'm sure putting a PlayStation 5 into a car is about all they need to be competitive with Tesla, right? U-Boat Works, W-O-R-X, has announced a major performance improvement to its fully electric three-passenger super submarine. With these improvements to the flow dynamics, the U-Boat Works states that the electric sub is now three to four knots faster than a cruising speed of a bottlenose dolphin. Yep, turns out that electric submarines are a thing, and actually they have been. U-Boat Works currently offers six different types of submarines, all of which are electric, one of them getting up to nine passengers. The new faster sub is set to begin deliveries in 23, with testing trials commencing this spring. Okay, it is opinion time, or I guess announcement time. I went to the LA Auto Show to see some EV news, but there wasn't a whole lot to look at, at least nothing new. With the exception of some distant concept cars, there was just one big announcement, and that was the Hyundai Ioniq 6. You may remember we had advanced coverage of that, so there wasn't a whole lot to cover at the show. There really wasn't a whole lot to attract eyes either, but between that and catching a cold on the way, I can't say it was a terribly productive trip, but maybe CES will be better. That's coming at the new year. In today's community comment found on YouTube, at the things you will find 7493 says, I vote Mikey G as new Tesla CEO. Well, thank you very much, things you will find. I appreciate your faith in me, but I am quite unqualified for that position. My best attempt at running Tesla would consist of finding a way to utilize the experience of the people around me, but I don't I, I don't imagine I would last very long and I would be voted out. Somehow, I would have to find a way to live with my failure. Maybe the $100 million severance package would help me. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.